Hello fellow crafters, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is David and today I'm going to be making a card with you. As the title already gives away, I'm going to explore the retiform technique. Now what is the retiform technique? I will explain that in my video that's coming up. Um, but it's this card that we're going to make. Now the retiform technique is not new by all means. It's been around for a long time and I've seen many, many, many videos on it. But I was so inspired by it that I wanted to try it. And since this channel is called Inspiration for Cards, I thought this would be a great one to do on my channel. Now this card in particular was inspired by Gina K. I will show you all the products I've used, etc, etc. So without any further ado, let's dive into it and let's make a card. So here you can see all the products that I'm using to make this card today. I'm using the Tim Holtz cardstock, and the watercolor cardstock. I love that stuff. But if you want to see a full list of the supplies that I'm using, I'm putting a link in the description bar to my blog and I have listed everything there, including links to the different suppliers. And as I am said, I'm using the Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock and I'm putting that on a black mat. Uh, I've cut these two out using the Gina K Master Layouts 1 set. I love these Master Layout sets and you will see them a lot throughout my videos. So now it's time to start making the card and what I'm doing is I'm putting down some Sisix sticky grid sheets to hold my card in place. Uh, that acts, actually acts like a third arm. Um, it makes sure that my paper stays on my mat uh, without shifting and that's, uh, that's perfect. So now I'm taking a scrap piece of paper and I'm starting to make the shapes on my cardstock. I'm using a finger dobber here to really uh, make a harsh line where my scrap paper is and then blending it out towards the inside of the triangle. Now this is just the beginning and I will come back many, many times blending with different uh, colors and making sure uh, that I'm happy with the results. But here I'm just outlining the shape and I'm getting my sentiment out to see if it fits and that I have enough room left over for my sentiment. Sorry for my head in the way, um, but otherwise I can't see. So here I'm happy with the spacing and I'm going to continue blending on with uh, the finger dobbers. However, I decided to use post-it tapes again uh, because it gives me a bit more freedom. They stick to the paper and it makes sure that the paper doesn't shift while I'm blending. And if you haven't done it yet, I would like you to consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a like. Um, that would really help me out. So thank you for the support and it will help me to make fantastic videos for you in the future. Right, now I'm switching to another color and um, I made a bit of a boo-boo here because it's turning out darker than I expected. The green that I started off with is sort of disappearing. So here I'm changing my plan. I'm taking my blender brush and I'm really uh, diving in there with the color. And actually, I like the result better than it was before. Um, it's giving me more of a harsh line. And that is part of this ready form technique, having these harsh lines that are blended out towards the inside. So I keep on blending and building up this color until I'm happy with the intensity of the color on the cardstock. Keep cleaning my brush in between. And despite the fact that these colors are quite good together, I don't really want to mud them up too much. I keep on building the color. I really make sure by putting these post-its there that the triangle where I put the sentiment will stay clean. So now I'm putting my paper in the position that the card is actually going to be. It's going to be a landscape card. Now I'm masking off these triangles that we've just created and I'm going to stamp in between these masks. Now I'm masking this off because I really want to keep these crisp, sharp lines. Now here I'm taking my first stamp and I'm just looking where I want to position it. And I'm not going to be bothered if I'm stamping over the post-it or not. That's going to be part of the charm of the retiform technique. And it makes sure that we keep these crisp lines. As you can see here, it's a really fun technique. So using my post-it tapes, I've masked uh, the next triangle and I'm going to stamp in there again. And again, sorry for my head in the way. 
Um, but it's a birthday party card, so yeah, let's have some wine as well. Okay, moving on to the next part. I'm stamping some balloons because, hey, party time. Here I'm just positioning them and making sure that triangle is filled up and stamped over the edge, which again will give me the sharp lines. By the way, in between I'm cleaning my stamps before putting them away with my stamp chamois. I love that thing. It really cleans off the stamps in between really, really well. And here we're already done with the stamping. Uh, this is quite a simple, quick card to make. Um, actually, the next video that I will post is going to be uh, a more elaborate version of the Retiform technique. And uh, so check that video out once it's on there. It's going to be the next one. Here I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And again, I'm so sorry my head is in the way. Um, this is something that I'm working on. I have to do that in a different way, but hey, this is my first video, so bear with me. I'm using my Misty here because um, I really like stamp positioners because I can't get it right with the acrylic block the first time and then it's impossible to stamp it again. So the Misty really helps me to um, yeah, make a good impression. Now I'm debating here what color to use. Am I going to use vintage photo or am I going to use black? Now I decided here to go for vintage photo. So I'm inking up my stamp and then I'm going to do a test piece. Mm, I don't like it that much. So throwing it away and getting my first fine black ink. And in the end, I think that's the better choice as well because it ties in the black that I've used to stamp in the triangles with. So yeah, here I decided I'm going for black. So I'm stamping my happy birthday. And this is why I really like the Misty because I'm not happy, so I'm gonna stamp again. And now I am happy. So I'm taking out my card, making sure it dries because it's pigment ink. Pigment ink will take some time to dry. And trust me, I've messed up many cards by uh, not giving it enough time to dry and smushing the pigment ink around. Now I'm taking out my ATG glider, which is in a way a fancy double-sided tape machine, uh, but I love it. Um, and I'm gonna use that to attach the front panel that I made to the black base card, not the base card, the matte layer. And there you saw me use my Ranger heat tool to dry that pigment ink to really make sure it's dry before I turn the card and I can't smush the ink around. Now I'm attaching that front panel to my black matte layer. But before I attach it to my card layer, I will clean up my matte. And I've, trust me, I've done this many times that I didn't clean up my mat and I've put on my white cardstock and it was a complete mess on the inside of the card. So cleaning up in between, it was a hard lesson to learn. Putting down my cardstock and now I'm attaching my panels to the base card using my 3D foam tape to give it some dimension. And then you could say the card is finished, but actually I'm not. I'm going to embellish it a bit with some Ranger glossy accents and some Nouveau drops and just some highlights with the uh, glossy accents. And this is really nice stuff. It looks like a bit milky now, but it will dry completely clean, as you can see on the picture that I put at the end. Um, and it's just going to give some really nice highlights to the card. And picking up the color underneath. So that's uh, it's really a fun bit. Now I'm going to take my Nouveau Drops and just put some clear Nouveau Drops on to really finish up the card. And here you have the finished result of my Retiform birthday card. A really fun technique to do and I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. See you. Bye.